Remember when Biden's mental health was a right wing conspiracy theory? Start your tape right now because I'm about to tell you the truth. And F you if you can't handle the truth. This version of Biden intellectually, analytically, is the best Biden ever. Not a close second. And I've known him for years. The Brzezinski's have known him for 50 years. If it weren't the truth, I wouldn't say it. That was before the debate. A few months later. And now is a good time in June. Thank God. In June, and not October, in June, this is the last chance for Democrats to decide whether this man we've known and loved for a very long time is up to the task of running for president of the United States. It'd be a whole other thing if he was the only person saying it, but... He is sharp, intensely probing, and detail-oriented and focused. This is a man who is sharp, who is on top of his game, who knows what's going on. This guy's tough. He's smart. He's on his game. His mental acuity is great. This is a very sharp president. This is a man that's on his game. President Biden is absolutely fit. There's, there's not a problem. He's sharp. He's fit. He's always answering questions. He is on the ball. He was sharper than anyone I've spoken to. He is sharp. Uh, he is on top of things. There's no doubt in my mind that the president is mentally Biden has proven himself to have a strong memory. He's completely mentally sharp. He's at the top of his game. Here's Joe Biden before the debate. American people deserve a debate because you need to see your choices. You need to see Trump and you need to see the president and you need to see the differences. And my husband's and you're going to see how smart he is and the experience he has. And then you'll see somebody who, like you're saying, I'm going to use Joy's words, can't put a sentence together. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with uh, Look, if we finally beat Medicare. Trump's face is hilarious, my bad. We find him, we find him providing housing for black Americans. The impact of, on the, the choice, the idea that they're gonna, I'm not, I've been proposing that everybody, they pay, the millionaires pay 1%, 1%. So no one after, uh, I've not raised the cost of social security for anybody. Then all of a sudden, the media magically recognized his cognitive decline. Followed last week by that herd shifting after Biden's disastrous performance at a debate watched by 51 million people. The liberal commentariat finally admitting the obvious, now lining up, calling for him to stand aside. Just a few months ago, the Times had a columnist taking the Biden aging story and stylizing it. Within 24 hours of the debate, the paper's editorial team agreed it is time for this president to go. These are the same people that told me Trump called neo-Nazis and white supremacists very fine people. The same people saying that he wants to give police immunity when they already have immunity. The same people telling you that Trump wants to ban abortion when he's already said that he wants to just send it to the state so that it can't be federally banned in the future. The same people telling you that he wants to be a dictator even though he left office on the day he was supposed to last time. Same people telling you that Project 2025 is Trump's policy even though the Heritage Foundation themselves have come out and says it's not. The same people that told you that the vaccine would stop you from getting it and stop you from transmitting it then turned around and said that's not how vaccines work the same people that told you that the wuhan lab leak was a myth same people that made you feel like trump hated mexicans because he spoke against illegal immigration same people telling you that kamala harris wasn't the border czar same people that told you that the black lives matter riots were mostly peaceful and that january 6 was an insurrection the same people saying that they're fighting for democracy when they're hiding the truth about the other presidential candidate so that you don't actually get to make an informed decision. You get to make the decision that they want you to make. That's who they are. They've been totally discredited. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in the comments. Peace.